What is good YouTube? So today I'm going to be going over AMC and GME stock and why I believe the third run up is about to happen. We do got a bunch of interesting stuff to go over today. Adam Aaron just made a post on Twitter and when we take a look at Roaring Kitty and Ryan Cohen's post, it does look like they are linked and they are preparing for a huge massive announcement for GameStop. But before we do get into that, make sure to go down and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And if you do want to see more of my content other than AMC and GME stock, make sure to go subscribe to my other channel. I'm going to have the name right there. It's Mikey G and I am working on a video for that channel right now. But today was another green day for AMC. We love to see it. AMC closed at $5.08 today, up 2.5%. The volume was pretty low today, only 11 million shares traded and we did hit a high of five dollars and 16 cents throughout basically the whole day we were green amazing to see gamestop was green as well up three percent the volume has been extremely low and something to know is that the biggest reversals happen on low volume when there's extremely low volume that's when we see huge reversals and ever since we've been going down ever since gamestop was trading at around 27 dollars all the way from 27 to 18 dollars the volume has just been extremely extremely low but just the fact that we tested the bottom around 18 dollars just like this bottom back here and we bounced right back up past 20 dollars that is extremely good to see and i do feel like we are pre-gaming for the third run up. Now, none of this is financial advice and I'm not telling anyone to buy, sell, or hold, but I already have 99% of my live savings loaded up into AMC stock and GameStop calls. Obviously, none of this is guaranteed and the third run up might not happen, but according to the chart in 2021, we are right on track for this third run up. According to Roaring Kitty's posts, according to Ryan Cohen's posts, they're trying to put it in our face. They're trying to give us hints. I really do believe so and we're gonna go ahead and get into those posts in a bit but ever since the run-up back on may 14th all the way to 13 dollars for amc amc has been in this accumulation phase just trading sideways for almost three months now it's coming up on three months and as you guys notice we've been in this flat line and if you guys take a look at the on balance volume for amc stock it is at an all-time high all time high. When on balance volume is high, that means people are buying the stock. People are accumulating on the stock and it has not been reflected on the stock price. The last time we saw the OBV reaching a uh, new high was back in 2021 when we ran up to all time highs. The same cycle is playing out, guys. It's happening right before our eyes and they're giving us the hints. They're letting us know before it even happens. That's why I love Roaring Kitty. I love Ryan Cohen. I love Adam Aaron. I love AMC and GME stock. I love every part of it. At the end of the day, you could be real negative about it with what's happened to AMC stock, it crashing down 99% from its all-time high, or you can look at it as an opportunity. You could always find the positive in something that's negative. Obviously, it's not good that it crashed down 99%, but how are you going to look at it? Are you going to look at it like, wait, this is an opportunity, or are you just going to cry about it? There's two people in this world. Which one are you going to be? So Adam Aaron did make this post today. He said, tickets on sale now for Usher in Paris at AMC Theater theaters and Odeon cinemas from September 12th to 15th. It is quite a show and our fourth such project in the past year with world-class musical artists. Thank you Taylor, Beyonce, Billy, and now Usher. More concert films coming also. So Adam Aaron is just letting us know, hey, there's going to be more people that are coming to AMC. There's going to be more musical artists coming to AMC and we don't know who's coming. Drake's probably going to come to AMC. We're going to have Kendrick Lamar. Probably Drake versus Kendrick Lamar. Frick it. We're going to have the biggest artist in the world come to AMC. The Weeknd. I wouldn't doubt if The Weeknd makes his own film. And it's going to be at AMC. They don't want Sinmark. What the frick is that? What the frick is that? They want AMC, the classic. The biggest theater chain in the world. The company that's been here for over a century. And it's still going strong. So I am just so excited and so confident in my investment. I've been investing in AMC since 2021. My first buy was back in December of 2021 when I bought my first couple shares, AMC was trading at $27. If I would have just kept those shares and never bought, you know, and never bought the dip, my average price would be $270. My first share ever would be worth $270, which is just mind blowing. So as time went by and when I saw AMC down basically to 50 cents, from $27, I knew I had to buy. So that's exactly what I did. And I am still buying to this day because 
I really do just believe in the company. So this guy said, breaking news for GameStop. According to the most recent SEC filing, GameStop has enough money to buy back the public float of their stock. The whales have noticed this and have loaded over $100,000 worth of $30 calls for August 16th of 2024 today. Who's diamond handing GameStop with me? So I do have all my GameStop calls expiring on August 16th and I have not sold. I have not sold. They're basically down a lot. You know, your boy Mikey has lost a lot of money in call options and I am not selling. I will ride it to zero if I have to. I will ride it to zero if I have to. The only thing I'm gonna do is buy more because it can happen any day. And we're gonna get into something really interesting. So shout out to Cash Love Liberty on Twitter. This post that he made is really interesting. Let's get into it. So he said, coffee slash espresso is the pregame for the melt up. In the Roaring Kitties June 7th live stream, he kicks off the stream by saying, you know, before I get started here, let's be fair. I feel like, a, what is it, Ocean 12? How many espressos have you had right now? Five. That's me right now. But you gotta make the switch. You know, you gotta do the little pre-gaming. You do the little pre-gaming action, which in my case might be the coffee or espresso. So he's talking about coffee. He's talking about espresso. That's how he started off the live stream on June 7th. Then he says, was Ryan Cohen's iced coffee post a signal that we are pre-gaming? It's very interesting to see that Kamala's drink appeared to be a single shot espresso mocha and Trump's was a quad meaning four shots of espresso. This means that there was a total of five shots of espresso in that pick, just like Roaring Kitty had. And let's not forget the Ocean 12's video meme post, where they were pre-gaming in a sense. And of course, on Monday, August 5th, GameStop posted the Mili Macchiato, which was only 57,000 calories. So presumably, there were at least five shots of espresso in there as well. Also noteworthy was the cover photo of panicked Japanese people converging around the Roaring Kitty with Ryan Cohen in the back looking like Dr. Manhattan. And of course, Wall Street is located in Lower Manhattan. The Japanese stock market had the biggest crash since 1987 on Monday. The man in the meme was pointing to both this event as well as a green candle. Now we've had our five shots of espresso. What does Roaring Kitty do next? He breaks out a big old green beer, green candle, green beer. Let's get this party started. All right, so let's go ahead and watch this together, the beginning of Roaring Kitty's live stream, just to, you know, comprehend basically what this paragraph was all about. Before I get started here, let's just be, I feel like, uh, what is it, Ocean's 12? Like, uh, how, how many espressos do you have? Five. That's me right now, you know? But now you gotta make the switch, you know? You do the little pre gaming. You do the pregame in action, which in my case might be some coffee or some espresso or something. But I think, I think it's time to make a switch. All right. So you know, I mean, what I don't know what type of beer you think I'd be going for today, but I mean, maybe this isn't the right day to do. It. I mean, I hope. Can I do this? Can I show this? Oh, you can't see it. <laughs> you can't see it. Oh, can you guess what beer that is? Can you get? Can you guess? That's a hint that you can't see it. Oh, I should have tested that. Whoops. Whoops. Oh shit. Let's see if you, oh, you see it. Oh, they see it. I mean, I, I'm not caught up with the chat, but at least I can see y'all scrolling through there. Greed, it's greed. <laughs> so after he talks about the espresso, he brings out the green beer. This was Ryan Cohen's last tweet. So we see Kamala on the left, the iced mocha, almond milk, cookie crumbles iced. So that has one shot of espresso. And we got Trump 2024 on the side, which is a quad, which means there's four shots of espresso in there. Meaning there's a total of five shots of espresso just like in Roaring Kitty's live stream. I don't know what Ryan Cohen is trying to do with this. He posted this on August 1st, so this can be the pregame. Literally August 1st, this could be the month, guys. This could be the month. And Ryan Cohen could be hinting it to us right there. Like, hey, take a look at Roaring Kitty's live stream. It's freaking all linked up. I don't know if Ryan Cohen and Roaring Kitty talk to each other or what, but this is just crazy. And GameStop is over there posting the Mili Macchiato as well. And as we see, there's quantity sold. There's an explosion emoji right there in the GameStop post. So that could have been it. That could have been the sign that the MOAS is near, guys. And this is what I find the most interesting. So when I first saw the thumbnail of Roaring Kitty's live stream, I was like, what the frick is going on in this thumbnail? It's so random. It's so random. And he could have probably made a better thumbnail, obviously, but... He did it on purpose. He's trying to show us exactly what's going to happen. So we see this guy on the bottom left pointing at all these panicked Japanese people. 
All these panicked Japanese people saying, what the hell's going on, Roaring Kitty? And then he's also pointing at a green candle. You guys let me know what you think about this. I think it is a crazy conspiracy theory and I think everything is lining up perfectly. So Wall Street Bets posted up only from here. So the black swan of 2020, that was the COVID-19 crash. Look what happened after. The black swan of 2024 was the risk of recession. What do you think is going to come after this? What do you think is going to come after the market crash? We can see the stocks keep crashing, who knows? But I really do believe GameStop and AMC are setting up for the third run. This guy posted AMC OBV at $3.2 billion. AMC price is at $4.94. Volume swimming in the dark pool waiting to be released. So the math ain't mathin' right now. OBV at an all-time high. People are buying AMC more than they have ever bought before, and it hasn't been reflected in the stock price. It has not, and it can be any day now, guys. But that is gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did make it to the end of the video and you haven't subscribed yet, what the heck are you guys doing? Make sure to go down and subscribe, and let me know what you thought about that Roaring Kitty conspiracy theory. I mean, everything that Ryan Cohen and Roaring Kitty has posted has been lining up perfectly and i really do believe they're trying to let us know that the third run-up is coming but i will keep you guys updated on what happens with amc and gme stocks so make sure to stay tuned on my channel and i'll catch you guys in my next video as y'all know i'm buying the dip here we go come on